What's up? I'm Morgan and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad that you are here. And if you have been here for a while, then you will know that it is week four. That's eight. Four <laughs> of becoming a swimpreneur. And this video, you guys, is all about getting your brand on social media. And I'm going to be breaking down why you need to take your brand and put it online for people to see whether you have um, actual physical product or not whether you are a brand and you're already on social media this is also going to help you too because I have a few tips and suggestions that can help you be more consistent and help you gain that traction that you want from your social media page so without further ado let's get into this video of getting yourself online <laughs> So first things first, you want to develop your brand persona. Your brand persona is everything. It is the bread and butter of your personality, it is the bread and butter of your the, the functionality, it is the bread and butter of your aesthetics. So your brand persona is everything and it is crucial that you develop a brand persona because it is what people are always going to be able to relate to when it comes to your brand. So when you are developing your brand persona, you need to look at certain things. You need to look at what type of brand you have. You need to look at what type of um, mood your brand is. You need to look at the attitude of your brand. You need to look at yourself as a brand owner and say, you know what, this is who I am and this is what I represent and this is what I wanna feed to people. This is what I wanna push out to people. So if you're a bold and bright brand, you need to develop that type of persona when you are talking to people they're gonna look for that bubbly bright personality when you are replying and sometimes it's not gonna be that way but you are going to have to pick and choose your battles you know what I'm saying when you have to deal with other people on social media another thing you want to look at is the aesthetics of your brand if you start off a certain way it doesn't mean that you can't shift that aesthetics later on but what it does mean is that as you're shifting you need to merge people over while you're shifting you don't want to just cut and dry be like I'm bright and bubbly today but now I am just very emo and moody you know the next day people it's it's a turn off and it's like a little switch make sure that you are bringing people along in your journey letting them know what's happening in your journey as built as you build your brand because this is what's going to help resonate with people this is what's going to stick in people's minds is going to be how you project yourself off to people on social media so understand before you even get on there you need to have your brand persona down pat so the second thing you want to do is understand what you are going to be putting on social media before you even developed your social media handle what are you going to post on your social media page now if you do not have product already if you meaning you don't have swimwear you don't have clothing if you're a boutique you don't have shoes if you sell shoes you don't have the actual physical product yet but you want to secure your spot get on social media create those social media handles try to do as many social medias as you can because this is the best way to test the analytics across the board in a short amount of time I would say test this out for a good month and a half two months so you can see your engagement but when you are deciding what to actually post this is a good opportunity before you start posting to go and look on Pinterest and Google and LinkedIn and things like that get all of this data gather so much data that is kind of like an overload and look at your industry look at the um, brand identity that you're trying to set the mood that you're trying to set and start posting those inspirational photos as you're posting those inspirational photos make sure that you're also writing captions that are engaging if you don't have a caption don't write a caption but I think a caption is good for you know engagement purposes but as you're posting these things whether it's a beach picture whether it's like um, a behind-the-scenes picture whether it's you going through a process of like talking to someone about your brand or getting feedback or anything like that wherever it is that you're posting make sure that you are writing something engaging so that people can respond in a certain way I always say leave people with a thought or a question if they can think about something they can respond if you ask a question they might know the answer to they will respond don't leave people on a cliffhanger to where they're like well what do you what do you what do she expect me to do with this information so don't be that person okay so decide what you're gonna put on there gather all that information whether you save it to your phone or whatever it is however you save pictures or um, journals or um, articles or things like that however you save it save it in a um, very 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 like specific place so that way you can always go there and be like oh I want to post this you can do this as you're building your brand page it does not have to automatically be like I have product I'm putting it out you can start off with something that are, that's going to start inviting people in to what it is that you are about to launch so keep that in mind 
Now, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube for this next step. A lot of people don't do this because they feel a little like it's un, you know, authentic to do this. But my best advice for this step is to create some sort of automation. Okay, the what you don't want to be is an overworked business owner. So you have to start creating some sort of automation. Automation is the best. When you could post things without having to physically go in and press send or enter, you're doing yourself a favor. This is also the idea behind making money while you sleep. You have to be on your P's and Q's when it comes to social media because there are so many. Especially when you're starting off, you have to get on all the social media platforms so that you understand which one is going to be best and beneficial to your brand. This is why I said before, create a Facebook, an Instagram, a Twitter, a Pinterest, create a Snapchat because you don't know where your social media niche is. You you don't know who's going to respond to what because you are not on social media. You don't you don't understand how it works yet. So you're gonna need feedback from a dump, a bunch of different platforms in order to understand which one is going to be the best for you. Automatically, Instagram is going to be huge for any brand owner because a lot of people need visual um, things to look at and they need things to respond to. And Instagram, the more and more they update, the better it gets for you know progression and automation and making money a lot easier online. So Instagram is automatically gonna be that place that you go to. For my brand personally, I get a lot of traction from Pinterest. Pinterest is crazy. I also get a lot of traction from right here on YouTube. And it's crazy because I don't really post my brand on YouTube, but I get a lot of customers now, a lot of people on my email list now because you guys are supporting me and my brand. So thank you, shout out to you. But also make sure as you are getting on all these social medias, as you are developing um, your brand, persona as you are posting these inspirational pics if you don't have a brand if you do have a brand and you're starting to post these things creating automation is going to be great for you you can do this on so many different types of apps it is crazy now a few of the apps i'm going to list below that you can use for automation um i'm let me just look at my phone real quick because i do have the one that i use most frequently and I use the Unum app, I use Buffer, and I use Later. Planoly, I'm not really big on, but you can also use Planoly. I know people use that a lot. So you can use different things to schedule your posts, so that way you're not always on social media, you're not always having to do something. What you do need to do is be on there for when you get those replies to the comments or DMs. Those need to be a little bit more prompt, especially starting off. You don't want people to go unnoticed. So create some sort of automation, and as you're creating the automation, obviously you're, you're going to be creating at the same time some sort of content calendar. Automation in the content calendar kind of goes hand in hand because you're going to be posting and scheduling things to post at like two o'clock, three o'clock, maybe five o'clock, whatever it is. So that is going to be your um, content creation calendar. You can schedule this on your phone. You um, These apps all work on your phone. There's a few that works on desktop. So there is no excuse for you not to actually have things to post if you've already gathered a lot of things to post in the previous step. You feel me? You feel me. Okay, this last bit of advice is crucial to how all of this will mold together, okay? So now you have your brand persona right you understand who that is you understand who your brand is you have your inspirational content if you already are not on social media and you just started getting on there you're posting the inspirational things things that relate to your brand things that are going to get people engaged about your brand the whole point of the inspiration is to start hyping people up about your brand even if you don't have any product get clever get smart get fancy make sure you're working your brand the next thing is developing that content calendar based around your automated system. So on those app, those apps, like I, like I said, Planoly, uh, Later, Buffer, um, Unum, I think it's Unum or Unum, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's Unum. On all those apps, you can schedule your posts. Some of those posts on certain apps, you don't even have to press send. You can literally schedule it, put in the time, and it will post for you on your social media platform, not just Instagram, some of those apps post on other social media platforms. What I can say about the planning, um, I don't think I mentioned this, make sure you're spreading them out so that you can see the best times. You have to build up your social media account so that you can see the best times to post. When you're going to get the most engagement, that's going to make a world of a difference so you're not wasting your time. Now, for this last process, if you want all this to mold together, if you want to start getting engagement, you are going to have to offer content 
worth engaging with. Now this is going to be a no brainer, but if you're already posting those inspirational things or if you have a brand already and you're starting to post more of your own product, what you want to do is make sure that the content that you're offering doesn't just live on your Instagram page as a, a picture. Go to your Instagram stories and start those conversations. The hashtags in the Instagram stories are so powerful. Using a hashtag in the Instagram story, it goes to a bunch of different stories. It doesn't just go to your people. It goes to a bunch of different stories. Um, asking questions, the polls in your Instagram stories, creating a dialogue, showing people what it is that you are actually doing with your brand creates so much engagement. So that way when you're posting things on your actual Instagram grid, people are like, oh snap, this is what he or she was talking about the other day when I was on their Instagram stories. I need to tell somebody about this. So much of that gains traction. You don't want to be a silent brand. Don't be a silent brand. The, another part about that is your aesthetics is going to live on your Instagram grid. A lot of people get carried away and they say, I want my grid to be like extra perfect, meaning they want the same colors throughout their whole grid. They don't want to change the color scheme one color or they're going to have to change the entire thing. Don't go crazy on the grid, okay? It's one thing to have an aesthetics, but it's another thing to look crazy trying to keep up with that aesthetics to where you're not posting for days because you can't find the inspiration that you need to go next to the last picture. So be consistent in your posting, make it make sense, and make sure that you stay online. Get your brand online. If you don't have a brand physically, get your brand online, secure that spot. What I'm getting at, if you're not understanding this video so far, is that without a social media handle, you're less inclined to actually put in work to bring your brand to life. You are less inclined to engage with people because you haven't developed your voice yet. You're less inclined to go and talk to people in certain comments as a brand because you haven't built your brand persona yet. So this week, I think that it's best, before we get into the next step of becoming a swimpreneur, it's best that you understand that you need to develop certain skills, certain ways of maneuvering and moving within this industry. And the one thing that you can do to do that is get online. Get online. It's important, okay? Um, and I just want to leave you with this. Think of yourself as the biggest business in the world. And then think of yourself as developing that brand because a business and a brand are two different things. You're the person that's running things and developing this brand over here. So the biggest person in the world, if they never said anything and they never got online, nobody would ever know who the F they were. So get yourself in the boss seat. Position yourself as a boss. Position yourself as a CEO. Position yourself as the person that is going to take your brand from here to here because it's your responsibility. If you don't think like a boss and you're not operating like a boss, then why would we need to tune in to you?